Hey guys, what's going on? MJ Rookie Forge here, also known as Lefty in Minecraft. And today we are doing a tutorial video on how to make this a uh, fan or sort of a um, helm as I'm using it here. Uh, here in Minecraft, I kind of put this together, uh, tried to find a tutorial myself, couldn't find one, so now I'm making one. Now this only uses armor stands, and you can customize it pretty much how you like. I'm not too in-depth in command blocks, however, I do believe that if you know what you're doing, you can make this look amazing and fantastic. Probably make it even look like a real helm. I'm going to lose daylight, so let's get started. Before, you, uh, before we go any further, I'd like to let you know I am on a server, so I will be using some world edit tools. And there also may be other players that pop in and out. Um, I'm the current only one on, but that's just a fair heads up. Anyways, to achieve this look, I used about uh, 12 armor stands, I believe, if I am correct. Yeah, 12 armor stands. So these 12 armor stands are kind of creating this helm kind of look. Um, and uh, I'm going to show you an optional one here in a second. Um, but to kick things off, let's go ahead and move this torch. Um, you're going to need to start with your command block about two blocks above where you want it to rest. Um, that way it kind of has a nice resting spot, and it'll stand here. Now at the moment I have this command, which I will put in the description, um, to summon an armor stand. Um, it has a rotation of 0, 0, but um, sometimes you'll want to change the rotation depending on the position of your boat. Um, let's see here. The... Uh, darn finicky thing. The right arm is currently at position 0, 0, 0. The left arm is currently at position 0, 0, 0. And show arms equals 1, meaning we will show the arms. Um, let's see here. E go all the way to the end. If the command is correct, then... Let's see should spawn something in, but there's something wrong, and I'm pretty sure it's this here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is what an armor stand with arms would look like if, it, if you just spawned it in. And so this is going to help us achieve the uh, look we're looking for. Now, at the moment, this is currently at the back of my ship, so everything's going to be a little reversed. Um, but to do this, this is going to... Um, see here. This right here is the uh, left arm, this is the right arm, and this is his back right here. This will be his front. So we're going to want to rotate his left arm. So let's see here. Currently we have it facing down. So we're going to go ahead and face it completely upwards um, at 180. So we're going to take his left arm and type in 180 degrees on the first um, line here. Hit done. And now he's pointing up. He's, uh, he's uh, praised the sun. Well, just with one arm. Anyways, you don't want to do anything with the second arm, unless, of course, you're having a double-sided helm. I won't judge. Um, anyways, so that's achieved that. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and do it on the... Uh, uh, go ahead and make them horizontal. I believe that's the correct thing. Horizontal horizon. Yeah, that's right. Um, so to achieve that, we're going to do 270 degrees. Press the button. All right, and to get to go the other way, we're going to go ahead and do negative 270. Okay, and then we'll press the button again, and there we go. So we already have half of our windmill, but we don't want to just stop there. We need these other angles right here. So there are two sets of numbers we're going to want to know. 45 and negative 45, and then 135 and negative 135. So let's go ahead and start with 45, well, negative 45. And then we'll go ahead and hit that. All right. And then we'll do 45 by itself. Done. Done. There we go. Now, all right. Now let's move on to the next number. 135. Now, all right. And we press that. That should be like that. And then negative 135. All right. And 
There we go. Now we have our basic helm. However, we don't have to stop there. The optional block I was talking about, or the optional set I was talking about, is right here. Um, there's another armor stand kind of giving it more three-dimensional feel to it. So to achieve that guy, it's the rotation I was talking about earlier. Uh, we're going to want to go ahead and change that to 90 degrees and hit done. And then um, now here comes a choice for you. Uh, you can either have the arms on for this 90 degree turn one or you can turn off the arms. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the arms off by typing zero at the end here. All right, and then if I hit this button, it will spawn an armless armor stand and kind of give it a more three-dimensional look. Um, I like this more than what I did over there, uh, to be fairly honest. And so now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the other thing, uh, which is adding kind of, you know, disguising the armor stand look, which in order to do that, you go ahead and place two, and if you're using World Edit or have access to World Edit, you can do this. All right, so if we go to, sorry about that, but if we go to replace air with one, three, four, or spruce underscore stair, we will get that. Uh, however, um, it is backwards <laughs> uh, because this right here. Uh, it needs to be rotated. I'm not exactly sure if I can rotate it. Slash slash rotate. Uh, rotate 90. Unknown air has occurred. Okay, so there, that is a little bug. However, another one I like to do is the stone slab. Um, so let me go ahead and get a slab out. Uh, it works pretty nicely, um, or any slab really would work uh, perfectly fine. So if I do slash slash uh, set slab, it'll go ahead and do that. And that looks pretty good too. And you can also have, you know, the backboard here or uh, another thing. However, if you're facing um, this direction where the um, stairs will normally spawn, which I believe is pointing north usually, that or east, um, it will actually have the stairs in a normal position. However, if you cannot use World Edit, um, that's fine too. You don't have to. World, you can always uh, do such things as this and disguise it. Or if you had a half slab underneath um, this block, you could break that block and um, move it down. So if I go ahead and show you that real quick, um, I'm going to break this. All of them will fall down. Uh, they might offset a little bit, but um, then you can sort of have, uh, let's see here if I can do this right, that, that. Then you can sort of have a very buried helm. Um, it would be a lot shorter than uh, usual, however it, all, it does work. Um, Makes for a good, uh, makes for a good monument trophy kind of thing. But uh, anyways, that's kind of my tutorial on how to make a uh, minimalistic helm or propeller of sorts. You can also use this to make some sort of um, uh, airplane, biplane of sorts. Uh, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is MJ Rookie Forge or Lefty, depending on uh, what the context is. And right now we're in Minecraft, so I guess you just call me Lefty. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you uh, want another one, and I'll be happy to do another one. Uh, I'll learn command blocks a little more in depth, and we can get uh, on this crazy tree and we can Minecraft. Anyways, thanks guys. Hope you enjoyed.